bum, 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 ba, da, ba, bum, 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 bum. Welcome back, my friends. This is BJJ Brick Quick. This is your quick jujitsu podcast. We talk about something other than jujitsu usually, and then we bring that right into jujitsu world and see how it uh, relates. <laughs> yeah, just winging it here a lot of times. Just have a topic, and we'll see how it goes. I was talking with my wife a few days ago. And I just mentioned to her that, that I did pole vault when I was in, I don't know, maybe junior high or high school. That was so long ago. <laughs> well over 20 years ago. And I, I don't remember what grade. And my comment to her, her comment was, I had no idea you did pole vaulting. And my comment was, well, yeah, look at it. It looks super fun. You know, you, you run, you launch yourself into the air, you, you, you know, get super high up and, and land on a big old pad how exciting is that? That sounds like a lot of good time, you know? That's what I would, that was my thought. <laughs> and then I immediately told her that I don't believe I was pole vaulting higher than the actual pole. And if you don't, if you've never pole vaulted or really seen it, I, and I might be wrong. I don't remember how high the pole was. I don't remember how high I was able to pole vault. But let's just say that the pole is, is, 12 feet long. I remember it was fiberglass. I have no idea how long it was. I could pull vault maybe 11 feet, maybe 12 at the, on a good day. I don't know. I was just, I and those numbers are wrong. I guarantee you that. But I, however long my pole was, was about the limit of how high I could go as far as getting myself over that bar. And I just thought that was, she thought that was hilarious. It is funny. I wasn't good at pole vaulting. <laughs> I did it for one year. I never really understood it. And, uh, it was it was definitely challenging, and I, it was fun. It was I don't think I had the upper body strength back then to to do what I needed to do. Thinking about this and jujitsu, <laughs> I feel like I did. You know, this is the equivalent of doing jujitsu for like three months and understanding. Okay, I've got to hold the pole this way, my hands are this way. Let's run full speed, and then I have to put the end of the pole and not miss into this little box that, that will hold it. And then I have to use my, like I had the ideas down, but I didn't really understand it. And then when I look at it now, I didn't even have the ideas down. A lot of times, right as I was going over that pole, the, the bar, I guess, instead of, I used to say instead of the pole, as long, right as I was going with the bar, last thing I have to do is take my hands and fling my pole away because it was going to bang into the bar itself and knock it off, <laughs> causing me to, to fail my, my vault. Yeah, not, not a good pole folder. If you look at the people who are good at it, that they go upside down and they're, they're, they're vaulting way higher than, than their pole. They're just using that as a launching pad to kind of just ultimately looks like jumping with their arms at the end of this pole to get even higher. Um, <laughs> so I thought I understood a lot of the mechanisms and a lot of the things about pole vaulting. And I did, I understood how to, how to run, uh, try to run with this, this pole I could barely even hold and, and that sort of thing. But when it comes to like, I couldn't pole vault higher than the pole. I didn't understand a lot of it. In fact, I was doing things like pushing the, the, the pole away from the bar so I wouldn't smack into it and cause it to fall on my head as I would also, you know, land on the, on the pad. Um, I was doing things that, that the people who were good at it, not even like Olympic people, people, people that were like seniors in high school, they were doing a different activity than me. It was so much different at what they, as far as what they were doing. And maybe if I was stuck with it, <laughs> maybe... Uh, maybe a good chance. No, I would have been, you know, got gotten to pole vault higher and higher, and, and looked uh, semi competent doing this activity. But you get, I have a little bit of an understanding. It's like, like I was saying, doing jiu jitsu for just a few months, you get a little bit of an understanding. And I think I understood that I didn't want to do it again next year, <laughs> and that's okay. And I and I've you know moved on, did other things. And is three months enough to figure out if jiu jitsu is good for you? Maybe. One, one class is not enough. If you go to one class, you're like, well, I, that was not fun. I don't like that one bit. 
Maybe you should give it a second class. Maybe you should, you should meet a different person. Maybe you should have a different training partner. Maybe you should roll with different people. You obviously had an interest when you went there. Hopefully you weren't dragged into class. Understanding it a little bit more, you might find it more of an interest in the sport, the martial art. Anyways, I thought I would share that story because my wife was rolling, laughing at me so hard that I, I, I pole vaulted for a year, a season, and <laughs> was horrible. And we, I do like to poke fun at myself, so she does enjoy that as well sometimes. Anyways, hope you've enjoyed the podcast. If you want to support BJJ Brick quick, check us out on Patreon. You can contribute um, any amount, really, a dollar or more per month. That goes to help keeping the show stay alive, keeping us going. If you want to check out an audiobook, go to bjbrick.com, click on the store, and there's some audiobooks there that you could uh, check out. It's not like a library, but uh, listen to. There's a, a small phenomenal fee for those. Hope you have a great day, my friend. And stay sweaty. <laughs>